Hi, I'm Christine Talbot and this is your UAW update. The university's art collection is on show, but this time it's all in one place. The Faculty of Creative Arts has launched a new book detailing the collection. Matt Baxter has the story. A UOW publication has officially been launched to shine a light on the university's substantial art collection. The book's called A Place for Art and it's um, a basically a book about the University of Wollongong art collection. The book contains just a small sample of the university collection's 4,000 artworks. Professor Lawson wanted to create a book that would allow the university's artworks to be more readily used in research and teaching. Over 50% of the works are constantly on display throughout all our campuses and other locations, but I felt it would be worth creating something that was a more permanent documentation. Vice-Chancellor Paul Wellings was on hand to launch the book. It's a truly outstanding book. It's beautifully produced and it gives you a sense of some of the things that are in the collection. The book features more than 70 full-colour reproductions of UOW commissioned artworks and is the culmination of more than 12 months work. It's a very modern project so we have an e-book and we also have a really innovative and beautiful iPad app that goes with it and you can either buy it from the Faculty of Creative Arts at Building 25 or from the Uni Bookshop. Matt Baxter, UOW TV. University elections are drawing near once again and students are encouraged to get involved. Nominations are now open and will close on the 12th of September. The elections are for the University Council, for Academic Senate and for Woosa and Whoopa. So really important that students vote in these elections and it's really important that people nominate themselves. Students will be alerted to the positions available and election dates via Souls and are encouraged to take part in any way possible. There's so many changes that occur from session to session and it's always important to make sure that students are in the loop and that if any changes occur we can make sure that it's not going to impact our study. I think it's uh, really good for students to participate so then they can make the changes that they see. After seven years of Queensland state of origin dominance, Wollongong wants fans to experience a series win and local league and university connections think they know how. Jess Feeney reports. Local member for Kira, MP Ryan Park, is certain that UOW's sporting facilities will help to improve the New South Wales Blues performance in the 2013 State of Origin series. This is an opportunity for them to be a little bit out of that media spotlight, to train in a regional community that's got fantastic sporting facilities and a community that is right behind them. URAC Health and Fitness Assistant Manager Sean Murray-Smith is confident the facilities are fully equipped to support the Blues training needs. We've got the facilities to, to hold a, a top, top level team such as an, an origin side. In the past we have had the Wallabies, we've had the Sydney Swans, we've had the Waratahs. It's all about instilling that pride. It would just be tremendous and the Dragon players in the squad would feel very proud to have them training here. UAW and Mr Park are excited by the New South Wales Blues team potentially making Wollongong an additional training base which will benefit everyone involved. We would see some of the world's best sportsmen. It would be great for people to see and watch them train. We're a great Great city, and I think that's great for the region and great for the university. Jess Feeney, UOW TV. A new survey has revealed 95% of economic students had some difficulties understanding the basic concepts, but a new smartphone app is hoping to change that. Tutors in Pockets gives economic students easy access to simplified learning resources anywhere, anytime. The project is expected to help correct misconceptions and engage students in their economic study. So we try to simplify the knowledge firstly into multimedia materials and then put it into the apps which is on the mobile phone. Tutors in Pockets is available for UOW students and staff to download to their iPhone or iPad. The Alumni Network Campus Chapter has reached its goal of providing a second $300,000 perpetual scholarship to UOW students. Funding for the scholarship came from sales at the Alumni Bookshop, which sells pre-loved books and university textbooks to students and the wider community. Our financial achievements, I guess, are that we've, we've now reached that point where our funding will support a perpetual scholarship for a student for the first three years of their um, university life. That is based on both excellence and 
um, equity. The scholarship, named after the popular bookshop, will see successful applicants receive $2,000 a year for three years. The Alumni Network is now in the difficult process of choosing the first recipient. Keep an eye on the UOW scholarship page for information on the next round of applications. Finally, it's Coffee for a Cause Week. It's a great program run by the community and partners team that supports UOW Cares and its chosen beneficiaries. So there's an excuse to have one more cup of coffee this week. And that's our update. I'm Christine Tarbert. We'll leave you with the Dragons League stalwarts Dean Young and Ben Hornby saying farewell to their local fans.